I am Anil Kumar and here is question number 13 page 428 from Nelson Advanced Functions. Question is solve sin x plus pi by 4 equals to square root 2 cos x where x is between 0 to 2 pi. So to solve such equation we can use compound angle formula expand the left side sin x plus pi by 4. So let me write down the compound angle formula first here sin a plus b is equals to sine a cos b plus cos a sine b correct so we'll use this formula and expand sine x plus pi by 4 so we get sine x cos pi by 4 plus cos x sine pi by 4 on the left side and on the right side we are given square root 2 cos x right now what is cos pi by 4 and sine pi by 4 you know it is 1 over square root 2 right so we can write that as 1 over square root 2 so we get 1 over square root 2 sine x plus 1 over square root 2 cos x is equals to square root 2 cos x now we can multiply by square root 2 on both sides then we get sin x plus cos x is equals to when you multiply by square root 2 what I'm trying to do here is kind of like this multiply this by square root 2 this by square root 2 and this also by square root 2 right so what really happens is these cancel out right and that get multiplied and you get 2 there right so we get sin x plus cos x equals to 2 cos x right now we can bring cos x to left side and simplify it so we get sin x or or we can bring cos x to the right side either way you can do it so we get sin x is I mean sin x is equals to 2 cos x minus cos x so so we get sin x equals to cos x and then we can divide by cos x and say sin x over cos x is equals to 1. Sin x over cos x is tan x, correct? So what we get here is that tan x equals to 1. And when we are working in the domain 0 to 2 pi, then we know tan is positive in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 3 right so we know all are positive in quadrant 1 sine tan and cosine right so tan is positive in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 3 so we have two possible solutions in the domain 0 to 2 pi so one of them will be tan is 1 for pi by 4 right and the other one acute angle is pi by 4 however the principal angle which we are interested in will be 5 pi by 4 so pi by 4 and 5 pi by 4 will be our solution right so from there we get x is equals to pi by 4 and 5 pi by 4 right so that becomes the solution for the given equation right so now we can write down our answer and that is x is equals to pi by 4 and 5 pi by 4. So that is how this question can be solved. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.